What is up team boosted? Welcome to another video and this one's exciting because we're gonna chop up some fenders. We're gonna put on these banana fenders. I keep calling them that because someone in the comments pointed out that they are, you know, banana shaped and they totally are. These look just like banana fenders. So this isn't a real wide body kit. These are just like cheap eBay fenders you can get. But that's all that we need for this car. And then after that's done, uh, we're getting it wrapped. But we want to make sure that this is a good surface for wrapping. I mean, I guess it would be if we just made sure but you know i'd like to paint it so it has it looks decent under the wrap in case we ever wanted to go back to paint in addition the little flaps up front the gas cap there's there's a few things that could be matched that's spray paint that's not good enough to be wrapped this is like all this shit's gonna show under the wrap uh this one's not a good example because it doesn't have like really deep this scratches a bunch of like spider web crap all over it yeah we gotta change that and uh primer. yeah so the first thing we have to do is go buy uh, another quart of this silver that we used on the rest of the car just to make sure everything's smooth and color matched And we want to do that a couple days at least before getting a wrap So the wrap doesn't pull up the paint because when you put on the wrap You gotta you know peel it up and put it back down a bunch of times and if you have shitty paint you might actually Take a bunch of your paint with it and then you know you, your paints ruined and so is the material uh, Vinyl can be very expensive for cars, so we want to avoid that. We're gonna to try to make it as good as possible. And in the meantime, the tires are ordered and More on the way. Bro. In More the meantime, the tires are ordered and they're on the way. All right, that's good. <laughs> so this place is called Kearney Mesa uh, Paint and Supplies, but apparently they got bought out, so they didn't have our customer file on hand, and we weren't able to get the exact match unless we brought down the car. And today we didn't. So we just got a silver that we think is gonna be close enough. It doesn't matter anyway because the car is getting wrapped. And the, the pieces are small, so we can always redo it in the future if we wanted to unwrap it and leave it painted, but that's not gonna happen. I mean, we so. got it spray painted right now, and uh, it really doesn't look that bad, so Jesus, car, shut up. This is probably gonna look great. Um, I don't know. It's silver, that's all that matters. And it doesn't matter actually how it looks because I keep saying get it wrapped. Yeah. I don't wrapped. know why I care so much. <laughs> all right, guys, it's the next day, and the R888s are here. They got here super duper early, so that's awesome. So I am going to steal Matt's car and take off to, I think it's called Bears Tires, and uh, get these things mounted up. Let's do it. What's up guys, I'm joining you for the first time of the day after sorting out some business stuff. Um, yeah, Devin went out earlier and got those tires done. We'll show you guys those in a second. This is gonna be a long night, we're out of beer, so uh, that's something that we're gonna have to handle. It's been like that for a few days, Devin, that's not good, that's not like us. I mean, we have beer in the mini fridge. Yeah, but it's not, it's we not on tap. tap beer. We don't have garage tap Which beer. Alright, so basically we have the stuff to paint the fenders. Uh, those fenders can finally go on now because we have the wheels and tires done. And a little bit of a stretch, boys. Not a lot of people wanted to mount these for us. These are 225s by 50s, 16-inch uh, wheels. Um, these are proxy R888s. <laughs> and they're, they're a little stretched. Uh, these wheels are 16 by 10, negative 25 offset, uh, diamond racing steelies. So we got all four of these for about 500 bucks. Dirt cheap. Gets the look that we want, gets the tires that we want. This should be more than enough rubber, um, at least for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> until we uh, we really turn that boost up. But uh, these are notorious for not wanting to spin, very grippy, and um, uh, we'll see how they perform. But we have a lot to do. We got a nice clean garage. Uh, we need to go get some primer before we can paint. And uh, while we're out there. Do that, get some beer. I just go at this. this go at this until, yeah, just fuck this car up until it's done. Because on Saturday we drop it off. It's official, boys. We are yep. getting it wrapped. Uh, I, don't, date. I don't yeah I don't know uh, what the timeline is for that but I do know that it goes bye bye on Saturday and then we got some more news to share with you it's probably a few days in between this video and the last one but that's because we got a lot to do yep check it out air ride equipped that's just a keg air ride equipped <laughs> that's even better <laughs> alright let's go uh, let's go fill this bad boy up and get that primer you guys see how cool and effective this net is they got a little Mercedes Fucking things on them too, then. <laughs> am, I, am I wrong there? No, no it does. It's right there. It's right there. You just can't see it. This camera's garbage with the light. That's that works great. That thing's pretty heavy. That's pretty sweet. Orange wit. Orange wit. Uh, 
Hopefully, we won't get sick of that super fast. Mike. Bucket, Devin. Yeah, so we're probably just gonna be able to get the. Devin's laughing because it looks really stupid. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Making sure my mic's on. Um, we're probably just gonna do the front because it's getting a little late, and uh, we got a keg, and that definitely slowed us down. <laughs> and we don't want the fenders to come out all crooked and shit. So we are going to do the front because it's easy. We'll show you guys exactly what we have to do. But this is a. Stretch 225 by 50 on a 16 by 10 on a stock Datsun. It's not that bad, it really isn't. I mean, obviously it sticks out just a little bit, but our banana fenders add just a little bit. So that's gonna be perfect when it's done. Um, if we try to drop the car right now, you know, this might even not touch. So we wanna mount the fenders as low as possible up front because the ride height's pretty good as it is. We wanna do minimal adjusting. So basically what we're gonna do is line up the fenders. Um, we're gonna cut about a half an inch below where the line is and then put a bunch of nut certs in it and then tack it down. And then once it's tacked down, we can drill the rest of the holes in it and color match it and then we're good to go. And then um, you notice this is a very unattractive kind of, like these are not finished well. So we'll show you guys how to make that look factory. We got some nice rubber welting, kind of like they do with Volkswagen Beetles. We've done that in the past, it looks great. Yeah, it looks good. So uh, we're gonna get going on this. It's really not that bad. First thing is to get this where we want it, tape it, and then we're gonna do one, and then we're just gonna match the other one to this one. Yeah. As opposed to trying to do both at the same time. Yeah, we'll do one up and then measure. Okay, so what we've done here is the top line is where the fender sits, the bottom line is the area that we're gonna cut off, and all these holes are for these threaded nut inserts. There's one right here. We did, uh, we did one on either end to hold it down so all these other holes would line up. It also helps that these actually fit on the car um, I mean, yeah, they, they look really stupid, but they fit without doing anything crazy, so we can get these measured up exactly how we want them. So you might know this thing is a nut cert or a, um, or, you know, threaded rivet nut, and this is just the installer for this, and uh, basically it works just like a rivet would. You put that in the hole, and then you squish it, and it goes, and then it's... It just squeezes up some of this metal and just pinches it in between. This works great on thin metal that you want to bolt shit to. And now we can thread our fenders into there. So, cool tool, we're gonna do the rest of these holes. Then we're gonna do the other side, take off the wheels, cut the excess off to give us clearance for these wheels, bolt the fender on, make sure it fits, take the fenders off, paint them, and that's basically gonna be what we're gonna do this whole car. Yeah. Uh, the back's a little bit more complicated because it's a double layered body, so you actually cut it, the, the front layer, carefully, and then you weld it to the underside layer. You can make like a nice little lip too. We'll show you guys that as well. Let me show you guys this real quick. There's no rhyme or reason to why this is exactly where it is. It's just that we like the way this looked and it gave us the most clearance. So what we've done is we've taped it where it is. Now we're gonna drill all the pilot holes in both of these surfaces so they line up correctly. Just drill it as the fender's on the car like this. Then we're gonna take the fender off, finish drilling the holes for the nut certs and uh, make sure that we get these holes big enough for the screw that goes into it. It'll match the other side because where it lands over here and this hole and where it lands over here and this hole are the exact same as the other side as well. It's three inches from the curve that's right here at the tip of this. Yeah, that's how we came about to be where it is right now. And then the only reason it overlaps this is because the only thing the tire does hit is this. So we want to follow a curve downwards. We got to take a little bit of this uh, this bottom bumper thing off or valence or whatever you guys want to call it. But yeah, chop it up. Uh, that's how much material we ended up having to take off. It was mainly up here because when you turn the wheel, it's very close to hitting this. We just had to spend a lot of time over here uh, cutting material away. But all these are in. Um, we got full lock either direction, so we're good in the front. So we're going to move over to the back. And like I said earlier, this is a little bit different because it's two layers of sheet metal. There's a layer underneath, and what you want to do is cut just the front out, and then you want to cut it a little bit higher than the back, and then bend the back over to make a new lip. So it's a little bit more complicated, but it's not that difficult to do. 
First thing we have to do is line up the fenders, like right there, so it looks like it sits well. Uh, we want to maintain the ride height because this is going to be a drag car. And uh, so we're going to position the fenders in a way that makes it look good without having to slam it a little bit lower. But yeah, we'll tape this one up and then we'll do the measurements. We'll make the other one equal. It's pretty simple. There you go. All right, so I just finished cutting up the uh, driver's side rear fender, and I'll show you what we're talking about when we said it had uh, two layers. So the two layers are just right next to each other. But if you come down over here, you'll see that it starts to gap, and that's why you wanted to leave the lower layer a little bit longer than the top layer. And I've already started to hammer, and uh, I just hammered along this edge, brought it a little bit closer, and we're just going to slap a little bead of weld all the way around just to seal it back up and make sure that it's nice and secure. So we got an interesting solution. We've done this in the past. Devin's gonna go ahead and explain uh, what this stuff is. It's a good alternative to welding if your metal's super shitty, like on this car. Yeah, back here the metal's fine, but up here, we've already done pre-existing body work on that and it's just absolute garbage. Uh, and we forgot that we even had this. It was up on the shelf. It's a 3M body panel adhesive. This stuff is super duper strong. Uh, so instead of welding, we're just gonna smear all this in there. It's a little expensive and like, yeah, you it know, needs it does, a yeah. special crazy gun, but we don't have any nozzles, but it, it, I don't think that'll matter. Uh, it's worth a try. We could check tomorrow if it's good. And if it's not, then we could just scrape the shit off and weld it anyway. But we have some left over. So mine was all give it a try. Yeah. We would have needed to do some sort of filler option there anyway. So that's what I did with my first Z and it came out fine. Just want to stop water from getting in there and it doesn't rain here so honestly we don't really need to do anything actually this piece in its entirety is held on by this oh that's right <laughs> yeah i we forgot that we used it that yeah. with this devin's having so much fun right now hey <laughs> this sucks i got hot goo in my ear hey, yeah these fenders are filled with goo yeah, this, this really is, uh, this sucks ass. I forgot how much I hate body work, but it seems like that's like literally yeah. all we ever do. It's always worth it in the end, but it's really fucking terrible too. <laughs> okay, so the last step is to paint them, and you guys seen us paint stuff, and if not, you could check out uh, painting the Porsche video, or we actually painted this car in the past. You can look at that. We're not gonna film that, we're just gonna get that done tonight. And then in the next video, you guys will be able to see the reveal. Um, this thing is absolutely hilarious right now. It's, it's like a little monster truck. It's sweet. This isn't how it's going to be, obviously. We're going to put all the stuff on. And then on Saturday, it's getting dropped off, uh, dropped off. So I would like you guys to see it before then. So we'll probably drop another video on Friday in its completed form. And we also got some Porsche stuff to do on Friday, too. So that'll be a fun video. This one's probably really long. Just look at this thing, dude. It's like a little dune buggy. <laughs> a little moon rover or something. Yes. <laughs> so I love these cars. These are two good cars to have. And uh, our triple eights always look good. Especially the little stretch. You may or may disagree uh, agree with that. Uh, Alright guys, it's gonna wrap this one up. That was way, uh, that was a lot of work to squeeze in the one day. Yeah, we tend to set deadlines like having this thing wrapped for Saturday when we didn't even have wheels or tires or fenders or anything, but we did it. <laughs> but it's all gonna be worth it. Super pumped to see how this comes together. We've done the same wheel and tire setup in the past and uh, we think it looks awesome. So you guys will see that. We'll see it first, obviously. Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you guys are not familiar with our channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. That's also the best way to support us is that head on over to BoostedShades.com and see what we have to offer. All right, this video's winner is Deathstroke. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah got, you, <laughs> you you've been around a lot. I see your comments literally. Has he won in the past? I have no idea, maybe. Hmm. I choose randomly. I just randomly land on somebody. So no, well then, you can yeah, win twice. Yeah, I, guess I guess you can win twice. So yeah, if uh, if you already won, great. If not, I know you comment all the time, so you deserve it either way. Um, hit us up at Team Boost at BoostedTrades.com. I'm pretty sure you've seen us. I've seen you in Messenger before, so you already know how to get a hold of us. Uh, we'll ship you something or something uh, something else, and your second pair or whatever. Um, <laughs> If you guys want to win, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. The comment could be anything. Uh, sometimes we ask you guys things at the end of the video, basically every video. This video's question is, what is something that you thought you could finish in a day, but it ended up taking way longer than that? Could be anything. Just leave that in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.